Best Irish music on irishradio.org with Jerry Byrne. I'm Jerry Byrne. It's Irish Radio. Now, uh, over the months since uh, the lockdown began and uh, the pandemic hit this part of the world in uh, uh, true savage style, I've been speaking to uh, many singers and entertainers and musicians and the great and the good. Uh, my uh, next guest is a gentleman who uh, hails from Banagher and County Offaly, who resident at Tipperary. And uh, he has written uh, all his old songs. I've played his material many, many times on uh, the programme, and they're all self penned compositions. Now, he was a busy man in music before the uh, lockdown, uh, doing uh, dances with pubs and clubs and all the rest of it, and also uh, uh, guesting on major shows as well. I'm delighted to say a big hello to uh, Colin. Kenny, Colin, how are you doing? Nice to speak to you. Hi, Jerry. How are you doing? Nice, nice to speak to you, too. Not too bad at all, Colin. You you uh you you've been uh, you don't really record any uh, covers. It's it's all your own songs. Um yeah, well initially of course I I recorded a couple of uh, tracks that were well known. Um the, the first song I did was a song by Keith Whitley called "Don't Close Your Eyes," and uh, that song opened a lot of doors for me over the time, you know, and. Then after that, I recorded a Joe Dolan number, and then after that, then I went to record on my own. Right. Well done, I'll have to say. Uh, excellent, excellent stuff indeed. And uh, you, you were a you were a busy lad. I mean, before like you, you were doing a lot of uh, a lot of work, and I saw you featured uh, at numerous uh, major uh, concerts and events. Uh, you know, before the lockdown. Yeah, yeah. I was I was lucky enough, like over the years. I have been very fortunate to sing with the likes of, I suppose, the biggest names being Philomena Begley and being on shows with Declan Ernie, Mike Denver, Nathan Carter and Derek Ryan um, in venues around Ireland. Um, some outdoor venues like the Cutloose Festival in Holy Cross and Tipperary, which has about between four and 6,000 or even more people go there every year. So that was events like that would be great, you know, along with doing the smaller gigs, of course. Right, you're also you're doing the the uh, uh, some social dancing and pubs and all that sort of thing uh, around. Was it mainly around? Yeah, yeah, that, that kind of thing, Jerry. Yeah. Was that around uh, the, sort of the Monster area? Would you believe I play anywhere from County Kerry the whole way up as far as Longford, Westmead, Mead, Offaly, Leash, Tipperary? Oh, all the way. I travel all over. Right, fair play. Well done. Well done. Uh, you don't uh, yeah, don't keep sure. yourself in the one in the one uh, uh, you know area. Uh, tell me this: How did you get into music, uh, Colin, in the first place? Were you, were you sort of born and bred on it? Um, well, no, not in particularly. I'm the youngest of five at home, and none of my family kind of sing or play any musical instruments. But uh, my dad's family, his uncles, used to play in a Cayley band back in the 1950s, which I didn't really know a whole pile about, and. I just kind of, I suppose, had a, always had an interest in music, and um, I was very into sports as well, of course, growing up, but uh, music kind of took, I suppose, a backseat, so since I kind of finished up playing in my late 20s, early 30s, I started to concentrate more on the music then, and uh, I recorded my first song then about maybe four years ago. Right, well done, well done on it, on it all. Uh, I must say, top class productions on the uh, on the, the the tracks. You know, it, uh, it's obvious that uh, they were recorded uh, in uh, proper facilities and all the rest of it. Yeah, well, like uh, say for my original songs, it's it's great. Like he, I write the songs and I go into the recording studio then, and they have a producer, and the producer was very good, which they provide musicians then to to, to play on the tracks. You know, and. Um, so you'd say, like, you just have the, the instruments arranged as what you want to do and the, the key of the song you want to play it in, you know, that kind of thing. And then you go in there a couple of times and you see how the process is going and then you uh, cut out the guitar and you put in the banjo or vice versa, you put in the piano and take out the accordion. So it's, it's, it's interesting, there's a lot in it. Yes, yes, definitely, definitely so. And uh, you've done, uh, you know, you've done some uh, cracking. You know, the production is absolutely uh, cracking. Uh, tell me this: wh- what have you been doing? I see you, you've, you're doing some uh, uh, live Facebook, uh, Facebook lives, as they call it, uh, since the the lockdown, and getting very impressive uh, amount of views. Yeah, well, I'm I'm quite fortunate to be honest. I i never really done live videos and I used to play it at home with my guitar and I started off doing it casually 
And I suppose through the lockdown then, like, I was busy. I was working at home and doing painting and gardening and all that kind of thing. And I've seen all the people do it in uh, Facebook Lives with their, their keyboards or their guitars. And I said, sure, maybe I'll set up one night and I'll actually uh, pull up my sign and, and do a kind of a social dance slash kind of, you know, dance set, like, of jives and waltzes and, and foxtrots. So I've been at it now the last five or six weeks, and it's been very successful, which I'm delighted with. Indeed, so I mean, I, I was just looking at uh, at the, the you know, it's, it, we're talking like thousands of views on it, like which is uh, something else. I mean, the, uh, I've said this to many other singers, Colin, that uh, with the uh, the Facebook live shows and the various streamings uh, which people are doing, there are many television channels will be only too happy to have the the the, the, the ratings or the figures that uh, you guys are getting. Yeah, well, see, it's more like anything else, and uh, I'm just saying it in a nice way. Country music in Ireland has a massive following that I suppose the likes of the major channels don't realise. Um, I always say there's a lot of country area from the Nace Road to the Ormore roundabout, you know, and I don't think they realise like the, that people are travelling from Kerry to Wexford and up as far as Monaghan across as far as Sligo to country events every night of the week, not just on a Saturday night, you know, so it has a big draw, a very, very big draw. Oh yes, definitely, definitely, no question, uh, no question about that. And uh, uh, you know, it's it's you you can see it, but it's uh, you know it's it's amazing the uh, uh, you know the, the the amount of views that uh, you know that you, that you've got. I mean, you know, well done on it. Uh, uh, you've only been doing them for this past few weeks, you say? Yeah, but I've been doing say my, I call them my social dance or my dance shows on a Wednesday night, um, and I'm a devil, of course. Like I don't. I, I don't consistently do things so I have to stick now to 9 o'clock every Wednesday night which is great and people can tune in and they can comment and they can tag their friends um, usually before that I used to take out the guitar and say I'll go live tonight you know and there'll be a few people tuning in and it's grand at all but uh, you have to be more I suppose consistent with what you're doing and that the, the, the people that are following you you know that they know you're on rather than miss you you know that kind of way Indeed, indeed, yes. That's uh, that's exactly it. You know, you've got to uh, you've got to go. Uh, uh, you know, you got to you got to go for it. And I say, you, you kind of got to be consistent on it. And uh, you know, it does it does pay uh, does pay dividends, no doubt about it. Now, uh, it's it's obvious, like uh, that, uh, there's not going to be any sort of you know live music events for a, a considerable period of time at this stage. Yeah. Yeah, well, there's not in here in Ireland at the moment. There'd be nothing major, but I suppose the pubs are realising now that if they don't introduce food, they won't be opened. Um, so a lot of the smaller pubs in, say, this, loca- this locality and that are deciding to put food in. So with that, I suppose the next step would be music. Um, obviously, won't be to the the numbers of the dates we'll be getting. You know, as what we had before. But uh, you just have to work at it, and like anything else, it's just to keep the head down. Rome wasn't built in a day. Exactly, exactly, and that uh, you know, at the end, at the end of the day, this is uh, we're talking pretty serious stuff here. I mean, there's a lot of people, unfortunately, have uh, passed away, and a lot of people have been very, are still, uh, oh, for sure, yeah, seriously ill over this. So I mean, it's it's uh, it's nothing to be uh, taken lightly, and uh, I think, uh, yeah, I like think, touch, touch wood that none of, like that people out there. We've been very fortunate myself personally, like none of my family have got COVID or come close to getting it, you know. But you have to remember that there is people and have lost a brother or a father or a sister or mother kind of thing. And they couldn't go to their funerals, like their friends and neighbours couldn't go to their funerals, you know, which was, it's, you know, in 12 months time or 18 months time or even two years time, like, you know, it's not nice, like. It's not. No, it was. It was really many of the situations where, you know, were absolutely heartbreaking, and uh, uh, you know, and the when it was when it was at its worst uh, that it's been so far earlier on in the lockdown at its worst. I mean, it was. It was. It really was heartbreaking. Not alone had the, you know, the family lost uh, a loving member, but uh, then they were completely and totally unable to actually, uh, uh, you know, attend any of the. Uh, the service, the funeral, I mean, many uh, funerals took place without any church service, which was uh, re- really sad. Yeah, and, I, and you look, on, on the positive side of it, like, music is a great thing to rekindle the fire inside you, you know, like, I, I have people coming to me, they're texting and, and sending me messages going, I, I watched your show last night or whenever on Wednesday, 
and they're saying like, you know, I got a real kick out of that. And for me, it's just like being a singer, you know, I don't have to put any effort and I just go out and sing by the thing, you know what I mean? And I go like, I'm very, thank you very much for saying that. You didn't have to, but no, it's people are getting a great kick out of it, you know, which is great. Indeed, so and it's it's I think one of the, the one of the pluses, uh, Colin, is that uh, at this time uh, for this pandemic, the technology really has uh, uh, stepped in and made a huge, huge difference to people's lives. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Like for the likes of the zooms and the likes of, uh, I remember it's not that long ago, like when you had to buy a web camera and put it on the top of your computer or on your laptop. Like I'm not very techy kind of guy, but it's not that long ago. But now you can just turn on your phone and you can press a button and you can talk to somebody face to face in Australia or America it's great like you know yes it is it's a uh, it's, it's kind of going back to my my sin- single at the moment like uh, will you dance with me Annie like dance with me Annie is basically a story about my mom and dad my mom's name is Annie and my dad's name is Jack right. but it tells a story of back when they started like I suppose to see each other back in the day like communication was done by letters, you know, and just uh, work in the same place and my dad would give a letter to a lady who would pass on the letter to my mother right. and vice versa, you know. Um, and the story of the finding the box of all letters and reading through them, basically they were love letters, you know. Nowadays, you'd be on Twitter or Facebook. <laughs> yes, yes, indeed, indeed, indeed. Or Instagram or uh, FaceTime and you'd be doing, you'd be doing various FaceTimes that's and all it, the rest. That's it, yeah. Yes, yes, it's uh, it's 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 definitely different times. Condal, uh, Colin, listen, I, I wish you. It's been lovely to talk to you. I wish you all the best of uh, of luck in the future. Uh, I'm delighted. I'm very thankful, Jerry, for you to get in contact, and it's been delightful just having a chat about the music industry and things like that. And I really, really appreciate it, and I hope your listeners do too. Listen, Colin, thanks a million for for talking to me. And uh, listen, uh, stay safe, stay well, and uh, fingers crossed when it's safe to do so, I'll I'll, uh, be able to see you somewhere along the way on stage. For sure, for sure. Thanks very much, Sherry.